So I've had this compressor for about a week now. I was way too excited when I got it to do an unboxing video. But I'm sure if any of you are actually interested in buying one of these, you've probably already watched plenty of other videos about it. Namely, um, the Slingshot Channel's video where he completely took it apart. So if you haven't seen it, you should watch that. You can see all about this Young Hang compressor. See what the insides look like. But uh, I've been using this for about a week. I've probably filled up uh, my 68 cubic inch bottle like six times maybe. Works like a charm. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. Got a bucket of water right here. My pump's at the bottom. This is my water out tube. This is my, or this is my water in tube, sorry. And this is my water out of the compressor tube right here. Here's the compressor itself. Your water in goes on the bottom. Water out goes on the top. Before you start running it, you always wanna make sure that your pressure relief valves are closed. Over here on this side, this is the water trap, so you can actually empty this while you're filling and it won't uh, depressurize the whole system. This one depressurizes the whole system and you need to release this after you fill before you take your hose off your bottle. Um, but right now I'm gonna make sure it's closed. Both of these are closed, nice and snug. I'm gonna set my pressure. See, I've got the pressure select model of this. So to turn the pressure, you just turn that pin till it catches the dial. And I'm gonna turn it up to 3000 PSI. I noticed the dial needs to go a little bit past so that the actual needle will hit right there at 3000. So I'm gonna fill up this 48 cubic inch bottle from zero PSI up to 3000. I just got this, so we're gonna be filling it for the first time. Forty-eight cubic inch tank. Get onto my connection hose, and that right now is at zero psi. This tank is empty. I'm gonna take my water in hose, attach it on the bottom. My water out. And I know that this is not gonna attach to anything, so that's my water out. that right there and then I'll plug in my pump you always want to make sure that your pump is in the water you want to attach the hoses and then you plug in your pump this is not the kind of pump that you can run dry make sure that your water is running you see that I got water moving so we're good to turn this on I'm gonna check my pressure one more time I'm at 3000 close my valves Then I'm gonna start a stopwatch. So, stopwatch, start. <laughs> So that was <laughs> four minutes and 20 seconds. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, so four minutes and 20 seconds to fill a 40 inch, 48 cubic inch tank from zero all the way up to 3000 PSI. So now that the tank is full, you can see right there, it's at 3000. And here's my gauge where I set it. You see that black needle underneath there? It's right on 3000. It beeps to let you know it's done. And in the manual it tells you before you hit this switch, before you turn it off, you need to release the pressure. I like to do it slowly. I'll just open it all the way. 
So that's all the pressure gone, and then you turn it off. You can see water's still running. My temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius. While it was, it's dropping pretty fast because it's cold outside right now, but um, it got up to about 36, I think, Celsius. So now that I've depressurized the line, I can remove that from the tank. And that's a full tank. It's as easy as that. Less than four and a half minutes, and this tank went from zero to full. So now that this tank is full, I'm gonna test it out. This is my everyday tank right here, and actually I'm gonna to top this one off too while we're at it. So first, I've already got this closed. I'm gonna unscrew this from my regulator assembly. And then you can see that gauge. We've got about 2,500 PSI in this tank. This is a 68 cubic inch carbon fiber tank. Before you fill your tank, you should always take your jacket off and look at the tank. Because I know a lot of us are probably going to be hydro testing less often if we start buying compressors that we can fill our tanks with at home. You always want to make sure that your tanks are safe. And if you don't see any visual, if there's, if there's no immediate visual sign that something is going on, that this tank has been expanding, as you can see the glaze on this one is beautiful, it's still really shiny. So I'm not worried about this tank. So I'm gonna to top this off, 1000 PSI. I'm gonna go from 2500 to 3500, just because I don't really like working this compressor too hard, so I don't wanna take it all the way to 4500. Attach my fill whip, set my tank down. I'm going to adjust my pressure from 3000 to 3500. Make sure the valves are closed. I'm going to let that open this water trap just to see if there's any moisture. Water still running. Hit the power. So that was about 2 minutes and 16 seconds to fill a 68 cubic inch tank from 2500 to 3500 PSI. Release your air. Then you turn it off. Now, this tank has cooled down a bit. I'm gonna screw it onto my regulator assembly and test it out because I just got this tank. Turn on the adapter. And I've got my tried and true KWA USP to test out how well this is working. One hundred PSI.
That's it. This young hang compressor would be a great addition to anybody's tool shed. It does exactly what it advertises. Works great, works fast. And so far I haven't seen any issues with it.